Hello friends. So recently I replaced the pedal sensor on between Tilt 500e electric folding e-bike. Whew, that's a mouthful. Well, I'm talking about this. So the Catalan actually call it pedal sensor. And what it does, it measures the revolution of the crank arms and it senses the speed of the revolution. So it basically measures the torque and sends the signal to the controller with, and the controller controls the power output from the motor, right? So why did I have to replace it? As you can see here in this design, this when installed, it has this cable bent let's get closer how it's installed so if you can see this tube is in its way so when you install it and you and it goes up to the controller which is encapsulated here inside the frame unfortunately this will always be bent and in time it may develop some problems. So what happened to me was that this intermittently would cut the power from the motor. So I didn't know what was the issue, whether that was the issue with the controller or the motor. But luckily, the issue turned out to be quite an easy fix. So the way you install it actually don't be afraid of these screws here they don't actually screw onto the bottom bracket they just here to i guess piece this together there are some plates moving plates here and the way you install it it's got these grooves here the notches that you just slide right in onto the bottom bracket obviously you would need to extract the arm first in order to do this you will probably need the crank extractor so you undo this bolt and the crank extractor is a tube with the bolt through it so when you tighten the bolt it extracts the crank arm from the bottom bracket so then you just simply uh, Put it in and then you will have to trace the cable towards the controller which I'm gonna show you in a second how to find the other end which is this little plug here okay cool let's take a look what happens at this end so here is where the battery goes, so it slides into the frame, you don't need to worry about that. What we need to get to is this part of the frame where all the electrics and the controller are stored. In order to get in there, you need to unscrew this little screw here. You will need a star screwdriver. I think it's small to medium size. There are some markings here, if that tells you anything. So let's just unscrew it. Oh man, luckily it's just one screw. Then you pull this lever to remove the cover. And here is where all the cables are stored so when you pull all the electrics out you will find the actual controller and few plugs this is, may seem quite intimidating to start with but it's not really that difficult to find the right one so basically that's your sensor and that's the smallest round plug, male part. 
So don't worry what, about the square plug. These two large ones, one is for the motor and one for the controls. And what we're interested in is this one. So that's simply, so that's the sensor, the male part and the female part is connected with the controller. So that only plugs one way, like that, and you will need to put it through the frame from the other side. Let's just have a look. So when you're here, when you install your sensor, you run the cable through the frame. There is a rubber gasket there. And then it comes out here and you plug it into the female part and that's all there is to it so let's just try to tuck all these cables back in there so they they live on the top of the controller and should just slide right in like that make sure you don't bend or damage anything there then you just tuck these wires these cables here and replace the cover like that and screw it back in and that folks that's all there is to it Since you made it this far into the video, I thought I'll give you a little bonus and do an un unboxing or unpacking rather. So I picked this up from eBay recently and that's a new sensor, a new updated version to the old one and that promises to be of better quality. So let's take a look. What? I sense poor sense of humor. 